Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and Webdesign and TechTips.com. Well, we've got a question today that comes up all the time. I've got a shop page here, and as you can see, I've got some sale items. I want to create a page just for the sale items or a category page. If we look down here at my product categories, I've got all kinds of categories. And you can select a category and make a page out of it really easily. But if we go down to our dashboard, go down to appearance and menus, we can simply add it to our menu by selecting the product category. But if we look over to the left here, there's no product category tab. And I keep getting the question, well, we've got no product category tab. If we roll up to the top of the page here, it'll say screen options. Click on the little chevron, it'll drop down. There's all kinds of checkboxes here. If we go over to just over on the right hand side here, we've got product categories. Once I check that, we look back down here, we've now got product categories. We've got categories there. That's not the categories we want. That's our project categories or blog categories. But now we've got product categories. So I can go in there. I can find my on sale product and I can add it to the menu. By default, it puts it down the bottom there. There it is on sale. And it'll automatically generate a page for you with your default styles. Once you've got it there, just save the menu. If I go back to my page now and refresh this page, I go up to my menu now, we'll see we've now got a new category called on sale just at the bottom there. I can click on it. And it's generated this page for us. Absolutely perfect. And like I say, that question comes up all the time. So just go down to your menus, go up to the top of the screen and check whatever options you want. In this case, product descriptions. So it's a very short and sweet video today. But like I say, that question comes up all the time. Once you put it there, make sure you save your menu and you'll be good to go. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.